What we're going to talk about today is the Hick Central and the Time and Attendance module. Uh, time and Attendance, self-explanatory. So uh, let me just go straight to the point and actually show you the software. Uh, like Time and Attendance uh, will be quite simple. But the only thing is when the, within the Hick Central software, this is uh, working as a module. So you need to have the Hick Central software in the first place to get the module with the time and attendance. Uh, what I'm gonna use today is this um, small, uh, it's not that small, but uh, the facial recognition uh, uh, terminal. Uh, just gonna enlarge that. Facial recognition terminal with the temperature screening. So you can put it on the front door and at the entrance and at the exit and use the time and attendance with Hick Central. So let me uh, show the Hick Central quickly. So <clears throat> what we have here, uh, this is the Hick Central. The first thing first we go is, uh, we're just gonna create and go to the system and go person. And the person, you can just create uh, multiple people. You can create multiple groups as well. Um, so like you see, I created here myself and I can have some details. Uh, so once you have the person enrolled and you can, you can create, you, you need to create an access group as well. In accurate access group settings, um, you just create an access group and, and you associate the door to that access group as well. So I just named the group Fortus Forums. The access level is just that one door in this case. Um, and all the tech Fortus members as a group of people, which I'm a part of it. Um, and then the attendance group, again, you can just click the add and create the group. So if the check-in is required, the effective period and time zone and other settings, and also the shift schedule. So the shift schedule, we're gonna create it later on. So we can select shift schedule for, not from this page directly, or you can go to the actual time and attendance settings and set it there. Um, and then you just need to uh, select the person group as well. Just what that, uh, that, that um, time and attendance group will, will be uh, linked to. Uh, before we go anywhere else, I'd just like to see the actual physical view of the Hick Central, I'm sorry, of the, of the actual unit itself. So when you go to access control device, and you see here, I enroll my device here, and this is the device with the camera, with the door, and alarm inputs and outputs, simple as that. And this is the actual door. So once I have that door enrolled, I need to make sure in the logical view on the left-hand side, I'm just gonna get there, and my door is enrolled from that um, a terminal from the facial recognition terminal and um, and you're going to need a module for that as well so you're going to need a module for time and attendance as well as an access control so you can enroll that door to your uh, hick central so once we have that done uh, we go to the time and attendance in the time and attendance we're going to start with the first page here and we select what uh, days of the week will be uh, our uh, working days and which one is going to be a weekend so we can unselect these uh, sorry the last and the first one um, you can select if someone's going to be uh, late if they are going to be marked as absent in in the software or you just uh, like to have them to be late to show uh, if they know check-in or they're checking late so there's a few options you can, it's available here as well and auto calculate so we'll generally report every uh, day at four o'clock if you like and um, but we're going to come to the report in a second so this is just a general view they're very very straightforward and the overview so you have the few difference of the work hour rate um, overtime so you can select uh, multiply how many um, like how much they will make based on other times 1 point or 1.25 and two times and so on and the different hours if they work for more hours we can you can extend that as well and the other time working hours and calculation if you need to um, unless they have the fixed schedule like we're gonna do it here as well like you can create uh, additional holidays so like you see here um, I create a Chris Christmas holiday and you, you will need to create a different holidays for all the year 
So like St. Patrick's Day, for example, or some other days, bank holidays, those has to be enrolled here as well. So you can just click uh, the add to add a new holiday if you need to. The attendance checkpoint, this is, this is the place where um, you're gonna check in and check out uh, people coming in and out. So if you have only one unit, uh, that would be only uh, one door station. So I can just assign that door station of the terminal and select that's gonna be check in and in and out. Um, if you have two, one of them will be check in and the other one will be out. Um, also, you have different options. If you like to amend someone's schedule manually, you can handle it the case and you can assign them uh, like a leave or holidays or different options that can be fully adjustable and amend every single one of them, the name of it, or you can remove them if you need to. Uh, but that can be uh, added to actual uh, each person's schedule. So if they call in six, you can select and, and, and actually uh, choose that option, one of the options here. Uh, what is the reason why they off today or so? A timetable. So you have the two pre-loaded timetables and the example of the man shift per hour. So it would be basically based per hour period. So between nine and six, uh, the system is going to calculate how many hours there, there were there. Uh, if you go with the normal shift, there will be like a starting time. They start between, for example, they start at nine o'clock, but they can you know, check in earlier, like at seven o'clock and check in late at 11. Uh, the same for a check in and check out for their uh, time out um, when they finish the shift. As the same as the break duration, so we can assign the break duration automatically and they do take that one, uh, one hour uh, automatically if you like, or you can set that manually if you need to as well. And uh, as well as we can change you know, different colors and for different departments, for example, the, the different department might have different, different colors. So that would be much easier for you to uh, differentiate which one is, um, which one department is assigned to watch color, what color is. So shift uh, schedule. So I already create one and I just uh, enroll my shift schedule. So you see from eight until half four. And um, so this is the late allowance and leave allowance 60 minutes. So I can leave or, or start 60 or be late and um, 60 minutes. And that won't show as I am uh, absent. So then you have the records handling. So in a case when you have the multiple people, obviously that list would be much longer. And uh, if you quickly like to enroll the most recent results, like the time period, for example, here week, and you can just click the get from device option here, click OK, and download, that would download all the events from the unit. Then you just calculate and you just calculate the whole uh, time period you, you're looking for to, 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 to look from and just click OK and that will calculate that for you. Like obviously from this page also you can set up the uh, automatical reports when you see the set regular report and um, you can create a report that will send time and attendance reports and uh, daily, weekly, monthly reports uh, via email. And so every single um, day or week or month, you can receive the total report of who was you not know, checking what time and how many hours they worked if you know if they had a break or not uh, and so on and um, so if i will export that report for example this normal uh, just a simple and normal attendance report uh, i can actually select attendance group so in this case there will be just one group i have you can select different departments if you need to or all departments at one go if you like and the time period so when you like to uh, pull out the report in what period of time and then in what format. And the email is only sending uh, the format uh, in a PDF. And if you like to download it uh, manually from here, you can select PDF, Excel, or C CSV. Uh, in this case, we're just gonna select a PDF as well and I'm gonna click export. So once it's exported, it's down here. And this is me now and how many days I was there. And actually I've been two, two days required five, absent for three days. So these are full, actually uh, full week that will tell you that person was there or not um, based on the report. If you like the more detailed report, uh, we're going to have to select 
um, just a daily report if you need to. Um, <clears throat> so let me quickly have a look there. So if we go a daily report and select the person and again uh, just export that file that will give you the more detailed report and how many hours they actually work what time they checked in and what time they checked out how many hours they worked um, and you can see the attendance report at the very last page here last uh, column uh, so you can see that person checked in that day at 8 49 and checked out at uh, 6 20. Um, so you can you can pull up the report for all departments so there will be all people listed and you can tell exactly what time to check in and check out as well as as i said that report can be sent over the email and you can also um, amend the report so i can see uh, I, I can put my own logo my company name and and all the details uh, regarding the report i can change of the report um, those letters that will be like a short for a normal late uh, early leave i can amend them to whatever it suits you it will be more user friendly for you uh, so once i have that done and um, the report will be sent automatically every day but it will be sent only if i actually tell my hex central to do that so in that case i'm gonna have to create my email uh, outgoing email settings so smtp server so the same as you would do with uh, the any other nvr for example when you send in, uh, the, the emails to the monitor station and then i just create a report so i just create a report here so i'll show you here uh, what type of the report is that so this is the report time and attendance and that will send all the information um, to about uh, about my um, time and attendance report uh, so once i have the time and attendance and record handling I can set the regular report and I can select all right a email template it's gonna be a time and attendance and particular people will receive that email so you can know the choose who's gonna receive that email eventually and what time is gonna be sent uh, as I said it could be a daily weekly or monthly report if you need to so this is this is really really cool uh, the time and attendance uh, to be honest it's really straightforward once you have the schedule done assign this schedule to every single, every single person that is in your uh, member of group and that's it uh, one more thing i like to show you as well so you had the data synchronization so you can send all that time and attendance report uh, to the third party database and it depends what kind of database you have there you have the sql mysql oracle poster you have pretty much everything you have there and that will sync up and send all information to that third party um, server. So if someone has already a um, server on site for a time and attendance, which I found is some companies obviously would have something like that. Uh, and they used to have like a fingerprint a reader before. Now the face recognition is more suitable. So they can use that face recognition data to send that to, the, to their unit, to their uh, database and actually uh, do the reports from there as well from their end if you don't want to do it from the actual Hick central so uh, once again if i go to the, my uh, group i can just create and multiple people so i just give it a name i can take a photo from my device i can take a photo from the actual webcam of my laptop if there is a if there is a webcam uh, or from actual unit itself give it a name uh, assigned to one of the groups if there's a multiple groups you can give it a details like email phone number remarks and effective periods uh, so you can change for how long uh, that person will be um, enrolled to the system and associated with the system and so on um, so you have multiple users and the same user you create here will affect your uh, access control so if you have, like I said, an access group, and if you assign, if you have multiple doors, or you, have, you currently have inside the Hikvision access control, you can marry them together, and they will do the same thing for you. So it will do for the same person the attendance report, but also you're gonna get an access group report, and you can also see uh, which way the person went um, on on premises. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's really all is to it. And um, so if you have any questions, please comment or send us an email 
uh, we're happy to answer all your questions and if you like to check the price on this module go uh, to our uh, sales department uh, your sales manager they're going to answer all your questions uh, so thank you very much and uh, next week i have something uh, totally different uh, there will be actually uh, a wireless um, device uh, so i won't tell you just yet but you're gonna see it next week uh, exactly what i'm talking about so thank you very much again stay awesome as always and thank you bye